Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening at uh, the second annual Open Prize for Video Painting. Uh, we're going to kick right off with the ceremony, so please give a warm welcome to uh, the Open Gallery Director, Rebecca Steinitz. Welcome to the second annual Open Prize, as uh, Adam said. Um, very happy for everyone to be here. Last year's um, winner of the prize, her work is actually on display as part of the 10 years ceremony um, around the corner, so I'm sure you had a look. It's Jasmina Metwali, so do uh, see her, me, her, latest, <laughs> her latest contribution. Um, the actual prize for the, uh, the winner is a thousand pounds towards uh, the next video painting series they're going to produce. And they'll also receive support from Open Gallery um, and we'll represent them for the time that they're actually producing that work. Um, to get right on to the action of uh, who the winner is, I just want to give you a little introduction for the uh, judges, our four judges today. Um, our chair is Hilary Lawson. He is a philosopher and founding artist of the initial group who developed the video painting medium. He's also the director of the Institute of Art and Ideas. Um, Tom Morton is, our, is a sorry, contributing editor of Freeze magazine and a co-curator of British art show Seven in the Days of the Comet. He's curated uh, many, many shows, uh, including the Hayward Gallery and Cubic Gallery, just to name two of those. Um, Laura Sillers is artistic director of Sight Gallery Sheffield. She's uh, got a very special interest in video art. Um, and as a floor leader, leadership fellow, She's worked with Art Angels co-director James Lingwood to produce a feature documentary in Detroit with artist Mike Kelly. And last but not least is Stuart Croft. He's an artist filmmaker. And his most recent exhibition, Comma 39, some of you might have seen it, is on currently at Bloomberg Space in London. Uh, he's also a tutor at the Moving Image Studio at the RCA. Um, Hillary's actually going to come on stage now and speak a little bit about the open prize and video painting as a medium. Um, He's also going to announce the winner of the prize. So, a very warm welcome to Hilary Lawson. Thank you, Rebecca. I wonder if this is going to play up in a way that was to you. Uh, I hope not. Uh, so, it was indeed a great treat to uh, find ourselves this afternoon judging the shortlist for today's. Uh, prize. Uh, the strength and variety and range of the work was impressed all of us. I think the most obvious thing about video painting is that it has, unusually I suppose, criteria which are required for it to be determined as a video painting, and those are that the, the uh, work must be consist of a still camera, uh, that there can be no subsequent editing, uh, that there is no sound, and no subsequent uh, manipulation of the image. But these uh, criteria aren't there just for some sort of abstract uh, you know, desire to constrain uh, uh, ourselves. The reason that the initial collective of artists decided on this uh, definition of video painting was because we were trying to break what I would describe <coughs> as the filmic gaze or the televisual gaze that we apply to moving images. Uh, moving images are something we spend an enormous amount of time looking at in our lives. I think it's said that by the time we're adults, each of us have seen something like 20,000 hours of moving images. Uh, that's a spectacular amount of time to learn how to look at them, how to interpret them, how to understand what they are. 
and we become masters at interpreting moving images. <coughs> but what we become masters at is masters at looking for meaning. We look for meaning in every part of the moving image. Well, what is this object here? What is that object there? What is this person doing? Where are they going? Where are they coming from? And then there's a bigger sort of uh, meaning, which is the narrative of the whole space. So we've learned to do that. I mean, we've learned as a culture to do it over the last hundred years. And that's the way that we see. And it's the, the, the filmic gaze. So as, as a, when we started out, the, the desire was to break through that televisual filmic gaze and to break through to another way of seeing moving images. To try and see somehow another way of seeing the world. And uh, that's where we started from. So the criteria for video painting are just crutches, really, to try and find this alternative uh, way of seeing. And the early video paintings were simply an attempt to break from that televisual uh, filmic gaze and to find ways of seeing the world just as open. So they were trying to be as non-narrative as possible, to have as little intervention as possible to allow the eye to wander across the scene and catch sight of all sorts of things you wouldn't normally catch sight of. Uh, but interestingly, as the medium has developed, the uh, meaning of what I would call closure has, has started to be reintroduced by artists. And the, what I think many of us are most interested in now is the cusp of narrative and uh, closure and the openness which, uh, which video painting is really uh, about underneath of driving towards this open space uh, and catching sight of a different way of seeing the world. Now the, the, uh, the prize uh, today was, and the, uh, the entries for the prize exhibited exactly this shift. So um, there was a, a lot more intervention by the artist, there's a lot more authorial uh, clarity or uh, authorial intervention <coughs> by the artists, sometimes deliberately creating a scene, um, which uh, I think once upon a time would have been anathema uh, for us, uh, and which shows the way in which the, the uh, video paintings are, are developing and why indeed, uh, from my point of view, it was so exciting to see the range of work uh, today and see the way in which the medium is developing and the potential for it to uh, to, to uh, develop uh, further. And of course, it's always a great pleasure to escape from uh, the mayhem of uh, London on a Friday afternoon and all of those deadlines and uh, meanings and closures that we inhabit in our lives and just for a time find ourselves in a space which is trying to take us to somewhere else that's a richer and more open space. So uh, let me come on to the issue that I'm sure you're really waiting for rather than me warbling on, which is the deliberations of the jury. So uh, the first thing is that uh, it, was, it was really tough. We, uh, uh, we went through a number, of a number of stages in trying to identify a winner. And many of the uh, shortlisted pieces could have been. There were, it, was, it was neck and neck uh, for a significant chunk of the way. Uh, but in the end, we did have a clear winner. And uh, we, we decided uh, the winner on the grounds that uh, for the way in which it was pushing the medium forward, for the strength of the work uh, overall, and for the originality of the material. And it was for those reasons that the, we decided that the winner of this year's Open Prize 2011 is Sidzel Christiansen. <laughs> the question is, is she, is she here? Yes, would you please come on? Yep. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hilary, and congratulations again to Sizzle.
possible. And to everyone else who took part in the prize, it was a uh, very difficult deliberation, I understand. Um, just to say, please do take another look at the 10-year exhibition as well as the Open Prize entries. Um, and this uh, exhibition is running until the end of Thursday next week, so if you want to pop along or let friends know that it's on, then please, uh, please do so. Tonight we'll be running until 9.30, so um, grab another drink, have a lovely evening, and thank you very much for coming. <laughs>